Welcome back you beautiful people. Welcome to another Blake Builds episode where I've swapped out hammering and screwing for metal work. And I'm here with Martin Jones, a good friend of mine at Innovated Automotive and we're gonna build a bike rack. You're probably wondering why we got these. Well, high five, because we can't touch hands because of Corona. <laughs> Stay tuned. So the reason is, for building a new bike rack for the back of my Jeep is, this one, it just doesn't work on the back of this car. Why? Because I can't get into the back of the Jeep to, to get stuff out. The only way I can get into the back is if I loosen this, take the bikes off, loosen that, disconnect that, and just take it off and then start to open up the back. Now if I was in town and I need to put some shopping in the back for the trails, I can't get in there. Because it's super annoying. So I need to make something that's going to swing out whilst the bikes are still on the back so I can get in there without taking everything off. That is the plan. That is the plan. So I'm coming here. Innovate Automotive. We're going to put our brains together and we're going to start brainstorming on what we want to put on the back of this Jeep because I'm excited. Really excited. I want something that you can put the bike racks up there, swivel it open so they stay there and I don't have to do that. Look at that. Even though that's a great rack and I've had it for so many years, it, it served its purpose. But we get loads of hacks and bodgers of people building bike racks. Take a look at these. Yeah, look at that. Someone stuck a log into the back. Make it a little bit different. Make it a little bit more utilitarian for your vehicle, for carrying your pride and joy to the trails. It's a good thing. This is Blake Bills and we're gonna build bike rack. This is Martin Jones, an automotive specialist and bespoke vehicle builds. Total petrol head, loves fast cars and anything with wheels. He's a man of many, many talents. First welder 28 years ago. That's older than Nick the cameraman. Jeff aka my truck introduced me to Martin three years ago and has been good mates ever since. But we've always wanted to build something, a project together for fun. Yes, we're going to make a bike rack that's going to be kind of a bit more ergonomic for the back of my rig. But I've been inspired by the guys on the North Shore up in Canada where the bikes are up like this. And not generally like this because I can't get into the back of the Jeep. What do you reckon? We've got a plan. We've got a plan. We've been talking for months on what we're going to do yeah. to make this. Everybody's going to want one. Everyone's going to need Everybody one and want one. Yeah, exactly. High five. Right, get this all off. It's super annoying. Do you know what? Hopefully this is going to be the last time I do this. Yeah. Have you got the steel? Yeah! Look at that! My pole's bigger than yours. Yeah, yes, it is. Mine's faster than yours. <laughs> right, we've got the steel. Now it's time to uh, actually sit down and work it out and make some measurements. What's that? Well, we can't get too close to you. Well, it's true, yeah. <laughs> what? So what are we thinking? I mean, we'll draw Jeff. Yeah. Here's the back of Jeff. Yeah. So I think what we should do is use the current tow bar situation. Yeah. Place a uh, solid bar across the back. Which should be that one. This big one here, yeah? Which we happen to have already. And then we have a tube up here. Yeah. Call that the tree. We'll call it the tree. We'll Hello. call it the tree. We'll call it the tree. And then what we do is we have uh, some special bending magic. The main bar comes across the top, so you can swivel that out. Yeah, because we want to open the back of the Jeep. Well, yeah, so when you open the back up like this, you can then, that bar will come out like that. Like that. And the bikes will be out here, like that. I like it, so we've got that big bar there. Yep. Yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have a, some sort of mounting to the roof up here. Yeah. So you can lock it in place. Yeah. And it'll swivel on the tree. Swivel on that tree. And then we'll have baskets for each bike yeah. there, and where then, the wheels will fit. And then a little mounting point for each rear wheel at the bottom. Okay. I mean, it's easy. That sounds easier on paper, doesn't it? Should have it done in a couple should, of hours. Should we, should, we should try. <laughs> first things first, should we get that? Should we take off the tow hitch? Cup of tea first, I think. Cup of tea. I'm on it. Mm. 
So things we need to think about, when the bar's on there, it can't come past the light. Yeah. And also it can't, we can't have a straight edge sticking out because it'd be deemed as a sharp edge. We need to make that curved. Okay. So we'll get that in the middle. That's going to be the first thing we've got to get absolutely spot on. And also when the tree, as you call it, comes up here, it's got to go between the door and the light. Make sure the door doesn't hit. Yeah. And you've got pure vision. Um, with regards to the number plate, we can either move that or we can place it on the outside of the tree afterwards. Yeah. But we can make that work. It'll be cool. Fine. So first things first. Measure up. Yeah. First measurement. Go to the front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. So what's he doing now, Blake? So what we're doing, we've Martin's cut the end of those bolts off, so it gives us five mil clearance for that hundred mil box section over there. So we're going to put that inside there. Can't we kind of cut the half, so fifty mil out of that fifty? Yeah, that so hundred sits, sits, sits over sits it. Sits over so it. So then we've got some strength, and then we'll put brace underneath so that it doesn't move it doesn't either way. Move either way. So we've got to make sure the box fits in between the back of the tow bar here so when this slides in and out. Yeah. So it actually fits otherwise you put it all together and go on. And go on. Then we'll be stuffed. Definitely be stuffed. I'll just go home. <laughs> So you tape it up so you've got something to mark on. And the, uh, the idea is this will be sat on the back of the Jeep. So measure the middle, cut that out. It'll sit on the top and it'll give it some rigidity so it doesn't move. And we'll straighten it up. Time to cut. Who's cutting? Are you safe doing it? I'm safe, oh yeah. Have you got a wood saw? Because that's all I know how to. That's <laughs> <laughs> so all I know is woodwork. No, I can do it. As soon as Blake's deciding to uh, use the grinder, I'm going to make it easy for him and just drill at the bottom so he can't go too far. As a top tip, and also you said to keep this straight, don't move it, yeah. dead straight. Because yeah. if it does, I could snap that blade and we don't want to have the hole too no, big. It's always better to make it slightly too small and then make it bigger to fit. Exactly, okay. Than it is to have it too big and try and fill so it with the world. Pressure is all on me. <laughs> Should come out? Should we try it? Try it. Oh! Move. Ta -da. Ta -da. Will it fit? Oh! Hold on, hold on. Let me get my coronavirus hand. Hold on. Yes! Well done, Blake. Good teamwork. Good grinding. Thanks. We need to make sure this is level with the back of the car, otherwise both of our OCDs will be forever ruined. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're just adjusting this to that, and then we're just going to tack it so it just stays there so we can move if we need to at a later date. It's time to weld. Now I'm actually looking forward to this. Are we going to, are we going to, are we going to try and learn? To, see, I'm not going to do welding now because this is very structural, we and my welding, well, this bit needs to be very strong, yeah. and I don't trust myself. I'm going in. That's really good. If you touch it, it will melt. <laughs> Thanks, Blake. That's what I think when I watch you ride downhill. I'm like, that's really good. Oh. You can pedal really well. Yeah, you can weld yeah. really well. Thanks. Check it out. Shouldn't fall off then. Can you teach me? Yeah. Cool. You can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> what we need to do now is cut the top of this off because the angle of the nozzle, I can't get it in at the right angle to be able to weld that properly to be get proper penetration so you need to trim the top off weld that doesn't matter we'll then fold that bit down weld it across the top to make it even stronger there we go 
Yes! <laughs> that looks really good. So basically what we need to do now is make this fit tighter in here. So where this small amount of play between this box and this one. So we're just gonna line of bead on the uh, line of weld on the top, line of weld on the top of there, on there and on there, and then adjust it down so when it's in, that is solid, doesn't have any play at the moment, we've got a little bit of play. Love. I could go. Oh, That's really good. High five! Because so now... I can't weld and Martin doesn't trust me, he's put me on a mission. Go find some steel. See that? That's what I'm used to working with. Not steel. Try that. Now what we're doing is we're grinding and cutting a bit of angle iron, the 90 degree angle iron, that we're going to weld to the underneath of that 100 mil bar, that big box section, and we go underneath and into the chassis, kind of brace it to eliminate all that movement. That's what we're doing. But I think once he's finished cutting it to size, I'm going to clean it up for him so he can weld it. How's he been doing mine? He's doing alright, I think he should stick to uh, screwing and banging before he does welding and grinding, but we'll uh, we'll get there in the end. Yeah, yeah, go, go. <laughs> can you teach me to weld? <laughs> yeah, at some point I will teach you, I feel like baby steps. Walk before you can run. Well, when people can't see the weld, then we'll let you have a go. This is getting serious now. We're actually welding to the Jeep. And I did tell Blake before that it wouldn't be as simple as you thought it would. I thought you could just, hey man, just knock it up, like I do with wood. Just put it there. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is metal. <laughs> Didn't even move a little Didn't tiny bit. Didn't even move one bit. What am I? That's really good. You see, do you see what I, I mean? I can see the pull. And then you, when you get that button, yeah. you kind of make yeah, it round. Yeah, you just keep it moving. Yeah. Keep pull of, yeah. yeah. We'll feed it when it's right. The first weld was pretty good. <laughs> I'll give you that. But if it falls off? It's my fault. Your fault. I only did one weld. Learning. I'm learning. Slowly. Hi, right, that looks that looks cool. What else do you need welding? Do you want this welding? No. No? Don't want that welding. <laughs> you sure? Whilst that's happening, I reckon after tightening this last bolt, if I stand on that, it shouldn't move. It won't. It won't move. I think you can stand on that now and I think we'll be all right. Oh. That's not going anywhere. No, I mean the whole Jeep's moving. I'd probably get a better Jeep. I'll get a taller Jeep. Oh my God, is that really suspension? <laughs> I can't even look at that. Mate, that is... That, my friends, is one solid bit of kit. I think now the next stage is the tree yeah. We'll start on the corners. Start the corners, work out where the tree's gonna be, and that's the main bit. And then that the main bit is done then. And the main bit is completely done. Are you stoked? Are you stoked? I'm stoked. Are you stoked? I'm stoked. Right, we're taking a quick break away from the uh, build, and I'm gonna announce that we're gonna give away a Muckoff pressure washer to wash your bike and soap and equipment to keep your bike nice and freshly clean through these winter months. Take a look at this. This is what you can win. Pressure washer, bike wash liquid, and some lubricants to keep your bike nicely lubed whilst you're shredding your bike in the winter months. The link is in the description down below. Go there, enter away, and I'll get you the chance to win that whole package. Yeah.
Mom's really jealous. Click the link. <laughs> Click the link down below, get the chance. And in episode three, I'll be announcing the winner. This is the tree bit because this is where it's gonna stick up. This is where the roof, the bike rack is gonna start to grow from. This is quite a critical cut because if we cut this too short, then we probably don't have enough material for the next one. Enough. It needs to be long enough. This is why I'm doing it. There you go. So what we'll do is we'll double this up to make this even stronger at the top. So we'll cut these into quarters and then use them as triangles to sit on the top, basically. You'll see what I mean, you'll see why. <laughs> it's gonna look like a Kung Fu Ninja star. Oh, yeah. On top. Oh, well, tree. We are making progress. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap, tack this into place, yeah. and then start working our the way into around. that corner. It will look pretty. It's gonna look very pretty. Let's go over. Just put the bikes on. No, we are nowhere near done. That must on there already. How can it be so strong? That's like better than woodwork, man. That's better than woodwork. Solid as a rock. It's not fully loaded yet. It's not even fully bent around. Look at that. It's never coming off. Never coming off. It looks really good now. That looks so much better. Going from having that horrible big 100 mil box on the back of the Jeep, even though it looked cool, but coming into this now is, now it's looking legit. You've got to cut these bits off, obviously. We've got to cut them bits off. dangerous. that we've uh, tackled, my grinding. I marked it a little bit there. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but... But we did get rid of that wobble in this whole thing. Yeah, so it made an extra bracket underneath. Uh, yeah. Matched the chassis, that was one thing we weren't expecting to have to do. Extra, extra bolt. Kept Stop thieving <laughs> stealing it all. Yeah, kept that. Yeah, so now we've cut the top off and welded that on, so that's now solid, but it is, um, yeah. We've pretty much got the tree up, the bumper, the main structure of this, bike rack is on the back of the vehicle. Yeah. We've kind of completed all Done of this. Bottom piece here. We're still smiling. I'm still wearing a cap. Yep. And your hair's still like that? Yeah. High five. Day one, episode one is complete. Stick around because next Sunday is episode two where we are gonna be building all of this up here. Yep. And actually mount the bikes to the back. Yes. Have them on the back of the vehicle. Let us know in the comments down below what kind of DIY hacks and bodges things you've done and also if you want to upload any hacks and bodges there's a link in the description down below as well as the giveaway. Don't forget that. See ya! Oh I nearly hit you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> On guard! <laughs> Yours is deflating, we've been high-fiving too much. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>